Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Desserts for the Weekend. So to start, we need cupcakes and frosting. For this one, I'm using just some whipping cream. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just frosting my cupcake. I've done this method before. It's just placing your frosting on top of your cupcake. And with a spatula, just try to drag it to the edges so it, everything looks kind of smooth. You don't have to do it like super perfect because it's going to be covered anyways. And you can always add some coloring to this part. It's up to you. Moving on to the next step, we're going to be taking the leaf piping tip and I'm using Wilton number 352 in my piping bag and my capillaries and all that stuff and I'm just placing my colored frosting. I used gel food coloring for this. I used tint orange and yellow for this part. I did two colors and one is on one side and the other one is on the other side. If you like for instance one the yellow color picking through in the middle you just have to add your frosting to the middle part of your piping bag not in the one side as I did here. And I always, always, always practice before going on to my cupcakes just in case I don't really know how it works or how it's going to be. So I just practice on a piece of napkin just until I, have the, I get the hang of it. Just remember to place your piping tip standing up. First, we're going to place the frosting like in the middle part of the cupcake forming a circle. And once we have the circle, we're going to keep on doing the same thing. What I do and what I like doing instead of just having all my petals into just one direction is adding one petal in between the previous two ones so it will look kind of more realistic and just add as many petals as you want. The more you are, the bigger your sunflower is going to look. So once all my petals are completed, I'm just going to move on to the middle part. I was going to use brown frosting for this but I remembered I, that I had one Oreo cookie and what I did was first breaking my Oreo cookie in this plate and then I found out that it was easier to just move the whole thing to a Ziploc bag and then just kind of breaking again your Oreo cookie and once you have done that and all your Oreo cookies just crumbled you're just going to place it in the middle part as you can see if you use a spoon it's going to be kind of messy if you use your fingers it's going to be messy as well the less messy method that I found out is using the same spoon but the back part and just kind of turn it upside down and just working with that you know if your spoon is one like this kind it's going to be easier for you to work with that and at the end I just added some leaves using my same piping tip and different piping bag and just some green and then pretty much placing my leaves wherever I felt like it needed something or just to cover my white. And as far as for flavors go, they are so delicious. And if you want to know how they look inside, you can visit my blog for some photos in there. And the frosting looks kind of weird because a lot of time happened between when I made the frosting to when I started working with my cupcakes. But I just want to share this one. So let me know if you like them. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, share this video and subscribe for more stuff. Thank you so much for your time watching and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye guys!